Be prepared throughout for highly offensive language and frank sexual chat. Day two! The Big Brother talent show rolls into town. A pop star is reborn. Sit here There are strange occurrences from the other side. Whoa, look at this. Wow. This two pence piece was out of the circle. An extreme challenge gets tasty. Ah, elbow! <laughs> 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 a gripping drama stuns the crowd. What are you talking about? You're my brother! You brought me up! And now I'm putting you down. Ooh! Bravo! Bravo! And a sensational strip tease brings the house down. <laughs> no oil. Oh my god! Day 2, 9.34 a.m. The celebrity housemates are waking up to their first full day in the Big Brother house. Today is Sam's 25th birthday. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, Jordan's about to take a shower. Oh! <laughs> Jordan! Sarah is in the diary room talking to Big Brother. How was it waking up in the house this morning? Yeah, weird. It was quite weird. Um, um, it's one of those things of, am I still here? Is this a big dream? Is this really happening? I can't, I can't say, really. Weird. <laughs> oh, it was just the, the realisation that this was actually happening. What are your first impressions of your new housemates? I think everyone's pretty cool so far, but it's only day one. I think everyone's a little bit fragile today. <laughs> Derek and Gemma are quizzing Sean about his time in East Enders. How long were you on it for? I was in it for ten years. I was ninety-four to, to oh four. Yeah. And uh, you were a great strong character. Absolutely. In well, I, I was like, I either had a great story or I didn't. So mm -hmm. I also got to spend a, a fair bit of time away from it as well. But you must get recognised all the time still. It's weird. Oh, yeah. I, I tell you, you know. It's, yeah. It, 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 you know what I mean? Because you know, twenty million, million, million people watched it. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. yeah. Only because there were only four channels. There's only a documentary about cheese on the other side, you know. But, um, <laughs> it, it, was, yeah. it, was, it was, you know, it was just one of those things where um, before everybody had laptops and phones and, you know, home computers, that's what you did as a family. You watched, you know, so we've got massive viewing figures. Do anyway. you still keep in touch with like other people on the I, class? I, when I bump into them, it's pleasant. I haven't, yeah. got, I haven't got many of them in a phone book. How, how did you feel when you actually ended your relationship with it? Yeah, yeah, fairly relieved because yeah. you know. You, you, you did find yourself, uh, after a few years, thinking, oh, I've done this storyline. You know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. They just yeah. kicked it about a bit. Yeah. Ten years is a long time to do yeah, the same yeah, thing yeah. in any job, isn't it? Yeah, it's true. Eleven thirty-five a.m. Jordan and Sam are working up a sweat. <laughs> Enjoying us? Sure. Let's see how many you can do. You watch how she'll just beat us. Really? What, do you want a competition? I don't know. I don't know how many I can do anymore. Keep going, Sam. <coughs> oh, God. Oh, she's, she's not stopped. She's kept going. <laughs> really? Yeah. Sam and Dean. Eight. Nine. Oh, my God. All right. Can you do yoga? Let's do some yoga. Do you do yoga, yeah? I mean, I'd like to do it more than I do. No, I can't even touch my toes, man. I know, I can't even, I go... 
Not nothing, is it? Come on, guys. Stop. Is that bad? Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, whoa. Yeah. Oh, fair play. Last night, Sean failed his secret task to be the most nervous housemate ever. His punishment was to make a killer nomination, which he gave to Marissa. Well, it was interesting, wasn't it? Because, obviously, you know, uh, uh, you, you, you're told to come in and be yourself and have a laugh. And then, obviously, I was given this sort of task to, uh, to, to be, all right, the most nervous housemate ever. I, I just thought he deserved a bit more of a, of, a, of a reward, really, you know. There's obviously an amount of subtlety involved, because if you just go in like a bull in a china shop, because part of the task was, you know, uh, make sure no-one twigs what you're doing, if you do just run around doing something pretty big and, and, and sort of dramatic, I think you can pretty much give the game away. So I thought it was a subtle and nuanced performance. Uh, I didn't have a clue what Marissa did. Turns out, hey, how's your luck? She's a mob boss's missus. So that's great. So now I'm going to get a horse's head in my bed when I leave here. In fact, I don't even own a horse, so I'm going to have to buy a bloody horse so they can cut the head off and put it in my bed. <laughs> yeah, mate, I'm happy with our bed situation, though, Jordan, mate. We, we did I know, well. Who are you sharing a bed with? Amelia. That's all right. She's quite petite. You're petite. Probably don't cross paths in the night. No, we're fine. <laughs> we never cross paths, actually. I was a bit disappointed, mate. I know. I was expecting that arm round me this morning. Well, mate. Oh, no, no, you did cross past me. Oh, my God, you fucking did. You, you, oh, you, oh, you oh, like strode my back. back. I remember it now. You oh. like strode my back. You did. Oh, I thought it was a dream. Oh. Yeah. I was dreaming. Yeah, you strode my back. Yeah, you I tried was to get me last night. I remember that. I remember yeah, the dream. Yeah. I thought I was in bed with a girl. Because you know when you've, I could feel oh, someone there. I so that. I started ticking your hair and I yeah. woke and I come round and thought, oh, my God, it's sad. <laughs> and I turned <laughs> over. I woke up. Because I'm not used to being in bed with a boy. You know what? Okay, so listen. So if that was lucky, I was in bed with you. It was a mistake the first time. It was a mistake the first time. You hear me? I don't want to hear this tickling going on every day. Okay. All right, boys. Well, we're looking for a jam sandwich. Yeah. We saw the Sam jam. So you want to get involved in jam? You want to be the pastrami in a in a jam sandwich. Sean gave us that one. I like that one. Cheers, Sean, for that one. Twelve fifty nine PM. Some of the housemates are playing a game to get to know each other better. First to be quizzed are Jordan and Sam. Who's check more women? Huh. Ah, ah, how, how do we know the answer to that? Jordan knows. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I like. Let's get really it's a good brutal game. as well. Yeah. Let's get brutal. That okay. Isn't it? Okay. That was gone from that. Who's who, um, who, who fancies someone in this house? Oh. Oh! oh. 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 <laughs> you must yeah. do as well, though. Yeah. Hang on. Next, it's Brandy and oh, Gemma's okay. turn. Who has had the most Botox? Oh! oh. OK, oh. lovely. Who has had You're oh. saying you? You're saying... Me? So. I've had a fuck of a lot, but I think... Oh, my God, this could be a good comment okay, well, yeah. oh. Yeah, the, the age thing just makes it yeah, more... Yeah, but you might have yeah, had plastic surgery, not Botox. No, you fuck you, I've yeah. only had my boobs and my vagina tightened. That's it. The rest is... Yeah. <laughs> we didn't it. even need that extra information. But well, I'm letting you know. On my face, there's nothing else. Are we allowed to know? Can yes. we elaborate? Oh, we can. We can. I've had Botox through, like, like, four uh, times a year four, since I was 20. Go, Four go. times a year since go, you were 20. Yeah. Your age is now? And I'm 29, so nine years of Botox. Nine years of Botox. 36. 36. Oh, oh, no, 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 we're only specifically saying Botox. We're not saying plastic oh, no, surgery. No, Botox. Ben, you, again, I, I don't just talking about Botox, yeah. Right. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Brandy, yeah. yeah. where do you have Botox and, and how many years have you had it? I have it in my forehead <laughs> and around my world. eyes, and I've been doing it since I was about 25. And you're now in your, like, 30s, yeah? Yeah, exactly. OK, brilliant. OK, so she's going to win that one. Thank you. Last of Fierce Housemates questions are Paul and Derek. Who has a bigger wanker? Oh, a bigger wong. I was trying to be nice. Who has a bigger penis? I don't know. I haven't looked at his car. Huh? Inches. Inches. Oh, Never we're going, it, we're going deep, aren't we? Oh, yeah. 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 I swear my life. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, I swear my life. Oh! How do you hang, Derek? What is Derek's Do you go to your knee or do you go to your ankle? 
No, maybe not, maybe not. It wraps around. Oh, it's you're it's all leaving the best. Best. Okay, so You all measured. I know you've I swear to God, I've never measured my cock. I don't need to. <laughs> Coming up, Marissa roasts Sean. I know you're intimidated by women, but you need to man up and untuck your dick in between your legs. Oh! oh. Two fourteen p.m. Today is Sam's twenty-fifth birthday. For Sam. You're gonna do that while I'm washing your fucking shoes? <laughs> I'm putting down for now. Sam is keen to make contact with the other side. Derek, should we do a Ouija board later? Uh, I'm really not interested in doing it. I'll I'm tell you why. Fuck that. Yeah, I've never done it. Because it. there's nothing to be gained by me working with the vibrations of a Ouija board. My mediumship has gone beyond that. Can you see the future? Sometimes you can get a glimpse into certain aspects, yeah. Whoa! <laughs> Who's going to win? Who's going to win the Grand National? Yeah. Oh, Grand National. My last question, Derek, <laughs> was Audience how did you meet Sam and what does he look like? In a previous lifetime. Well, yeah. Who's Sam? So Sam is his, is his go-to go guy. That he, his own ghost? Yeah. And you what know, does how he look you know? like? He would stand about five foot six, not the tallest of men, not the heaviest in physical. Does so he look slim. dead or does he look alive? As alive as what you look. Oh, seriously, so like, it's just like a so, dude. So, like, it's a person, so it's quite There's physical, it's not just a kind of grey no, shadow. No, it's no. It's actually personification I, I see, of a I human. I see all the features clear. He's that yeah. height. He's the Ethiopian. And then, why is he, why is he he's pretending mm. to be your boy? Mm. But actually, he doesn't like you. And he's actually going to take, he's going to take over your body, yeah, when he's strong enough. So, you're, like talk, you're talking about possession, you're talking about what we call, um... Can one man get possessed? No. Why do they talk shit when they're possessed? Yeah, because tongues. the ones who are possessed they're talking them tongues and in were not of what we call um, normal mind. They were deranged in their physical lifetime. And each time that they jump into the auric field of a person who's living, they get stronger at doing it. And they take you can't old. feel when you're in the other plane, can you? Like, That's you can't right. feel pain or like anything. No, like no. I've watched my horror movies, just to let everyone know. Three forty-six p.m. Chad is talking to Big Brother about the girls he likes in the house. So I would say there's maybe three, four girls that I potentially could actually like date, get with, like, and have like you know a relationship with. Okay, so Amelia, Gemma, Marissa, Sarah. Sarah is obviously more closed off than any of them. It would take work. So which housemate do you have the biggest feelings for? One with an attitude. I'll say that. That's all I'll give you. You can deduct from there. Deduct. Deduce. Sam is feeling grown up. I'm a man. You're literally a boy. Do you and Jordan? Because you guys are so like little kids. You're literally, I thought you were literally like 16 when I saw you. I was like, yes. Oh, no, no that's I not am. a good thing. I'm 25. <laughs> But you don't look like a 25-year-old man. You look like a 16-year-old boy. I like that. Who's, like, excited just to, like, be out of the house. I used to men. Yes, men. exactly. Men. <laughs> There's no men yeah, here. They, and it's very awkward. They literally just go, oh, are you are your burning loins? Oh, you're, just, like, you're ready for a man. Yeah. yeah. No one's like that here. Chat here. That's not even considered a man in America, but he's the manliest one here. Hell, man, what's a man in America? Like, man. Yeah, what's a man? Like, 
take charge. Like, I'm dominant. Look at me. Listen to me. I'm going to tell what's what. I think takes charge, man. Huh? I think he can take charge. No, he cannot. I think he takes charge. <laughs> See, he just ran into a door that was closed. Sandy is getting to know Gemma. And, and, and uh, all, all, all this, like, all this. Yeah. Do they make a big hole first? Or there's a tiny hole and then they stretch it? Stretch it. It, it hurts. It's really painful. Oh, everything that you've had, babe, is all painful. I know, it's all painful. And that tongue of yours and all, isn't it? I got that when I was 13, I don't even remember. Oh, babes. I couldn't oh. in pain, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Do you still have your taste thing? Yeah. Because they say you lose it. No. You lose your sensation in, like, your nipples if you get them pierced. Have you had them done, yeah. babe? What? I've got both of them done. <laughs> yeah, <excellent. laughs> they fucking hurt. I'm sorry, you I don't just swear. Sorry, kids. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, babes. Oh, really they bad. numb it first, or they mm. just go for it. Nah, they put, they make it a bit cold, but it don't make, don't make no difference. What would ice cube? Yeah, <laughs> no difference. It's horrible. Uh, and then you do uh, one, oh! and then they do the other one. Show oh! <laughs> Oh. It's too much. <gasps> Can you feel that? Oh! <laughs> you ain't got your minge done, have you? No, I haven't got my minge done. Because you know done. a lot of people have their minges done no. now, innit? Men yeah. like it, though, innit? Most, quite a few men must probably like, like it. it. Tingly them, innit? Ooh! <laughs>
Oh, that's a oh, wow. No. <laughs> Listen, we just wanted to know if you were like really an actor, because neither one of us has ever seen anything. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. Is it in America? Wait, wait, hold this one for me. I'll yeah. send this one for the first Sarah. 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 Wow. We heard you're a singer, but if you were the sixth member of the Spice Girls, you'd be unseasoned spice. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Oh, no. <laughs> OK, and I have to finale this. Where are you? Hello. Hi, Marissa. Oh, yeah. I know you're intimidated by women, hence why you nominated me first, but you need to man up and untuck your dick in between your legs. Oh! Wait, wait, wait. wait. We both know that one pretty well. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you did pretty good. I feel like a lot of that was super mean. But like, I mean, with that being said, like that's what you're supposed to do. So everyone here now hates you probably like a little bit. <laughs> but, so we did our but job. It was good. Coming up, Jordan and Sam get down and dirty. <laughs> Nine forty-nine p.m. For the past forty-eight minutes, housemates have been showing off their skills in a talent contest judged by Helen, Sandy, and Chad. Not gonna lie, I'm buzzing about watching this. Like. <laughs> Next on stage is Derek. He will be attempting to contact any spirits in the Big Brother house, assisted by Carthic. Derek is hoping any spirits will move a two-pence piece on the table that he has drawn around. I'd like to take you on a short journey, only a very short journey, of the unfoldment of the potential of us connecting with the world of spirit. My guide, Sam. Thank you, Sam, who's always present in any spiritual matters. And he's just said to me, Kay, you know what? What we should do... We've not talked about this, okay? But I've just been instructed, okay? Because you're so keen to be my apprentice on this day and evening. I want you, with your free will, to take this pen. The spirit gentleman that's in our presence, you have now got two vessels for you to allow your spirit energy to flow through both the energies of our hands. I can sense him here now. I can sense something as well, a tingling here. OK, that's a good sign. There's a heaviness in my heart. Yes, OK. Allow it to come in. Allow it to come in, OK? Allow it to come in. Yes. Yeah, I don't know what it's happened. It's got there. through, OK. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if I may, well done. Thank you. You're going to be a good apprentice. His name's Joseph, by the way, I've just been told. He worked, he worked here. He was age 52 when he left his physical life. I mean, I felt the pain in the chest, I, the yes. tingling in the forehead, and then I started doodling. Yes. And then at some point, it, I stopped. Yes. And that, that there looks to me like a face. Well, it says there's two things there. There's a face and the finale, which should be in the thoughts of someone here. OK, it could be... Whoa, look at this! Wow! <laughs> Come on! You all saw me, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Drawing around this two-pence piece, chalk, Model, but you want to come over? Look, not just push out of the circle. There it is. It's not just moved, it's been pushed out. <clears throat> we didn't touch anything to do with that. But you see, okay, 
is that one of you, I'll get to cancer, I know you're all very honest people, um, is that because he passed in the eighth month. It's the eighth any month of, now, isn't it? Pardon? It's the eighth month now. It's the eighth month now? Mm. Well, OK, I never even had that. OK, so the eighth month. Is it anyone's birthdays in the eighth month here? It's Sam! <laughs> it's your birthday, Sam. Yeah. The ace. Oh. He's attended the ace. He's moved the coin. Yeah. I didn't even think of it that way. Thank you. Demonstrating the art of going viral on social media are Trisha and Gemma. So, obviously, I'm a YouTuber. I've done this with five other YouTubers. Total, we have over 15 million views with this challenge. You guys can look it up when you get home for those who don't know YouTube. So, it's basically the Touch My Body Challenge, Lick My Body Challenge, and What's My Mouth Challenge combined. This is a real challenge. It's not sexual. 95% of my viewers are female, so shout out to my female viewers. Um, <laughs> so, it's not sexual. So, I have to blindfold my partner. So, you have to be blindfolded. And she just has to stick her tongue out, and I'm going to place a body part there. Oh. So, the first one. Okay. Okay, stick your tongue out, ma'am. Oh, you have a piercing in it now. Okay, stick it out. <laughs> no, it's going to keep it out. <laughs> keep it out, I promise it's good. Okay, okay, okay. What's it first and what body part is it on? My mic. <laughs> yeah. Was that not off your finger? No. Can you do it again? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> ah! What the fuck is that? Elbow! Yeah. Elbow! Yeah! yeah. 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 Yay. It's actually a lot more difficult than it looks, so second one. Alright, ready? Where is that? <laughs> Again. <laughs> Okay, that's peanut butter, but I fuck knows where you put it. You don't know where it is? No. Just tell me that one. It's my goes. tits. Is it? It's my cleavage. What right is it? Uh -huh. Oh my god, I didn't even realize. Sorry. <laughs> this is so big. All right. One last one. This is the grand finale, so. Oh my word. from your mouth. Yeah! <laughs> and that's our talent. <laughs> <laughs> Extraordinarily inventive, uh, among other things, and I thought it was intriguing and charming. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Taking the stage next are Sean and Paul, showing off their soap acting skills. I'll see you in a bit, girls. No, 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 yeah, I'm gonna meet my brother. Sure, oh, man. How are you, okay? How are you? Just, you good? Just wave to Stinky and Pinky. Like, wave, wave, wave to them. Yeah, Hello. yeah, yeah. Easy jet, baby. Yeah, we've been banging all fucking flight, mate. Yeah. Just cut the accent, but that's that's. Um... I've been in Australia, haven't I? Oh, I know a year. I know I've been getting and it down. It's... Anyway, how's things? How's Dad? Yeah, he's he's dead. How can he be dead? He, he said he was getting better. It's cancer for you. It's uh, it's very unpredictable. He wanted you to, to have this. But he didn't want to be cremated. No, 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 it's, it would be bigger than that. Just open, open. <laughs> Oh, he loved these. Mother of Pearl, Yes, yeah, scientifically it's called Naker, but yeah. All yours, all yours. But for me, what, what about you? And you look really Swiss, like, what, you've really smartened up. Like, usually, you, like, you're in your scaffolding clothes, you know? You look amazing. Amazing. Well, I'll tell you, oh, hold on. So, he, he, did he, did it? you know, the painting? Yeah. So why, okay, Dad, I love you. He left us the money. Did, what, no, is it real? It's a Picasso. No way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Dad! Mother, I love you, mother. Mum asked, love... mom asked after you. She's not with that piece of shit. Uncle John, yes. Uncle John. He's yeah. now in prison, what, in, for in, armed robbery? In Belmarsh, that's right, yeah. I mean, yeah, all right, he took me went to visit him. Yeah. You went to visit him? To, why would to, you visit him? To borrow something. Oh, Dad! A toothbrush. Toothbrush? Yeah, yeah, borrowed a toothbrush. Why would you need a toothbrush off him? Because He's a scum. He's need, a scumbag. I needed to send it somewhere. Uncle John and uh, yourself's toothbrush were uh, what? tested. Why would you test Uncle John's toothbrush? They never you call it 100%, tooth? but like, it's 99.9 what? that uh, Uncle what? John is your father. 
What are you talking about? My father. We, our father. We, you just said that our the, father's the, uh, dead. The DNA the pages are in there with your toothbrush. Um, and a return flight via Qantas, which I suggest you get on. <laughs> I'm talking about you, my brother! You blew me up! And now I'm putting you down. Do you know what you are? You're just a fat old piece of fucking shit, you wanker! No, 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 Paul. I'm a fat old piece of fucking rich shit. <laughs> <laughs> the Picasso fetched 24.4 and I sold it last week. But look, on the bright side, you have cufflinks, a return ticket to Australia via Qantas, and at least you can go and visit your father any time you want. Everyone's a winner. Oh! Ooh. Come on, Stinking! Oh. Come on, Pinky! Oh. Bravo! 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 Oh. Bravo! Man, I mean, it was really good, you know? I was, like, super moved. I, I didn't know everyone was going to be this good at stuff, but, I mean, that was like watching a live movie, so... I was like, I want to know more. What's he going to do with the money? <laughs> What's he going to do? But, no, that's fantastic. You guys killed it. What a minute. Last on the bill are Jordan and Sam demonstrating the art of seduction. Right, then, we are formerly known as Jam, a.k.a. Jordan and Sam, and we're going to teach everybody. you all what to and what not to do with seduction. So we're going to need the two judges up on stage. Helen, get your ass over here, please. Oh, my God. Right, OK. You'll be right, you'll be right. Trust me, you can count me. Yeah. Right. <laughs> oh. 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 Time for the judges to declare their winner. I think you. I think you're all. I mean, even the bitchery, whatever you want. <laughs> I mean, you were all amazing. That's but I mean, you did entertain. You did grease us up, and we were very entertained. Yeah. Please step forward and collect your. Oh, I'm gonna, gonna stick to you, babe. Thank collect you very much, Sandra. Really appreciate it. You're welcome and happy birthday, my this darling. Means a lot. Enjoy. <laughs> Second person who they did come together as a pair, Jordan. Yay! Please step forward, Jordan, and collect your thing. pleasure. Uh, you're welcome, yeah. my darling. Yeah. And um, yes, uh, congratulations to everybody else. Uh, Everyone, so you're all, amazing. Amazing. you're all amazing. Stunning. And you're Stunning. all winners, Stunning. no matter what. Now let's go and celebrate. Thank you. Coming up, Sarah opens up. I'm kind of a little bit sick of being judged on the past, to be quite frank. <laughs> Celebrity Big Brother has your holidays reserved for the next two years, with three fabulous breaks for two up for grabs. You'll spend five nights in party capital Marbella, staying in a five-star hotel with entry to Puro Beach on one day, but it doesn't stop there. We'll whisk you off to New York for five nights in five-star accommodation. And to top it off, you'll spend seven nights in the Caribbean, staying all-inclusive at the Hotel Rue Palace, Jamaica. Plus, you'll have a £1,000 spending money to treat yourself. For your chance to win, 
Text CBB to 65515 or post your name and phone number to CBB PO Box 7557 Derby DE10 NP. Text costs £1.50 plus one message at standard network rate. Lines close on the date shown on screen and three working days later for postal entries. For rules and winners, go to channel5.com slash win. Good luck. Be prepared for highly offensive language and sexual chat. Ten forty one PM. Champione! Champione! It's been thirteen minutes since the talent show finished. We are stars, we are born. We're Paul is congratulating Sarah on her performance. Sarah, well done. Oh, babe, that was so good. Who are you? So good. I haven't really sang good. that in so long. No, I think yeah. Amelia did it. Amelia was incredible. She had to learn it. Amelia, honestly, your voice is so. The tone, the pitch oh, you've got is so. That was a tough like, challenge to do in like that much. Oh, so time. beautiful. It's She's got an such a nice to tone, isn't she? Yeah, it's that really Such, to such a great. Yeah. Just. Oh, and it just together yeah. smashed it. Man, I was just buzzing that I got to sing a girls aloud song with a girls aloud member. I was buzzing. I was literally buzzing. Oh, was no, it was an absolute song? pleasure, babe. Yeah, yeah it was, we, that's what we won a big award for. <laughs> Sean has come to the diary room with some of his own comedy material. You're right. I've only popped up for a bit of banter, really. You can use it or not? Can you see that? I can't remember anyone's name. I've just jotted down a prompt note. They won't know. It's just a series of sound bites about the talent show. It's all it is. You can use them or not. It's up to you. So there you go. Uh, I was at the talent show and uh, I was. Um... Sorry. I can't even. I can't even read what I've bloody written. Oh, Jesus Christ! I can't even read my own writing. I ain't got my glass on me. M Maribra and Brandy. What does that mean? Do you think you've written Marissa? Marissa. See, I, I've, I don't have much problem with that name, do I? So, tonight was the talent show. Um, I got roasted. In fact, I think I got spit-roasted, um, sort of metaphorically, by Marissa and Brandy. So, hopefully, hopefully, I won't get whacked. So, we've got a new housemate tonight, which is exciting, Chad. Welcome to the party, Chad. Uh, I thought, who's that? Running around looking like Hugh Jackman with his uh, with his um, seven pack out. <clears throat> Paul. Paul. Oh, okay. So uh, Trisha and Gemma's act. Uh, there's probably been more unsexy cabaret acts in history. I can't think of one offhand, and I've been in the Navy. Um, I think it gives a whole new meaning to a, a, a tasting menu. Yeah. Or it, it could catch on. Uh, who knows? One thirty-seven a.m. Chad is talking to Jordan and Marissa about his sex life. I've been famous for one year. I've only had sex. I had sex with more people before then in a year than I do now because now I'm like, oh, shit, you, what, you have sex with me because I'm famous? Like, I won't well, well, like, you know, I'm just gonna jerk off and go to bed. <laughs> like, oh my God, I answer questions to you? Like, what do you wanna know? You're interested in me? Like, the point is, like, it's way more opportune to just jerk off and go to bed. Mm. <laughs> Sarah is talking to Big Brother about the talent show. Everyone's raving. They think me and uh, Amelia should be called Samelia. <laughs> and that um, we should do a duet. So I'm kind of thinking, you never know. We took it so seriously. But um, I really enjoyed it. And it's my favourite song out of all of our songs. And uh, I'm, so, I'm just really hats off to Amelia, honestly. When I was in, in the group, I mean, I was... I think being on stage, you, you have a persona, and I was loud, I was Larry, 
Um, you know, I was in my 20s, I had plenty of energy, but I think that people started perceiving me because I was, you know, we got famous so young and I was that acting up to that character in the band. You know, I'd work hard and play hard, but I wasn't... <laughs> I wasn't like that in real life. They didn't see me behind closed doors and they just got to see what they were throwing in their faces. And and that's part of the reason I wanted to do this in a way. So that I could remind people where I came from and why I do this and why I love doing this. I know I've had my trials and tribulations like throughout the years, a lot of which have been documented, a lot of which have been misconstrued. And it's hurtful. I haven't got thick skin and people don't realise that. When that all ended, it was like, where do I go from there? This is kind of, this is for me, like, kind of getting a second chance to try and show people who, are, who I've grown into. And I'm kind of a little bit sick of being judged on the past, to be quite frank. Um, because, you know, we all grow up at some point in our lives and you learn by your mistakes and your regrets. <laughs> So, I want to make the most of this experience. It's not every day you get another opportunity to sort of make the most of your life. Mm -hmm. Is this your task? My task? My tassel? My titty tassel? My task. <laughs> Guys are fucking scared of shit from you, aren't they? Not only are you a hot girl, not only, but you're also a girl from TV, but you're also hot girl from TV, who's also from New York. So you like, you literally, you yeah. fuck yourself in every way. Like in every possible no, way, yeah, you are the most really closed off yeah, person. Yeah. Like no, you are the exact no, opposite. Not of really because a lot of people aren't afraid to approach you, but I kind of think, I think it's a blessing in disguise if you can weed out the weak to approach you. Like I love when people approach me, even the ones that you would wouldn't think must have had would the courage. Like, you can tell, someone, wow, you must have up the courage to approach me. me. Yeah, but if that's the case, if somebody uh, had to have no someone one. else to approach, mm -hmm. you're not meant to get me in that manner, no, no, let's no say. If, I was at that point. if a man approached me and I was what with a man, man the same time, my, uh, my man would pummel him on the spot, well, not in a good way. Oh, well, I would fuck your man up. Because <laughs> <laughs> he had minimal gains. Yeah. Fuck that guy. Anyway. Next. What if I walked up and was like, what up, titties? When? You trying to hang out? I, I wouldn't no? even acknowledge you. What if, okay, what if he said, wow, you're gorgeous. Wait, no. Anybody that's going to walk up and be like, hey. I mean, I get that a lot, okay, obviously, I'll but I'll I'm very the, polite. It's the voice. It's the voice. No. What if he's like, hey. <laughs> Paul is confused about how to switch the lights off in the bedroom. I don't think it's fair this system, just yeah. because they're out there drinking and shit that we've all got to be awake. I agree. Don't fuck people that... Really? TV? I'll just use a condom. Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to be celibate. Don't say that. Don't. In fact, I'm going to help you out. What you should say is... A really fancy Jordan, that's what you should say. No. That's what... A really fancy Jordan? Well, you're only human. <laughs> what? I can't. I can't. <laughs> anyway. Am I awake right now? Paul, turn down the fucking man. Anyway, sorry. Dude, if you don't come to bed, we can't sleep, we can't go to bed. What? They won't turn the lights off without you. Are you serious? Is the same with my bedroom? I'm gonna move shit. the party in there. Okay, yeah. Right, okay, shit. Oh, right, okay. Fuck. Good night, Chad. Good night. I bet my room's the exact same shit. Good night, you. Good night. Mwah. See you in the Don't dream about me too much. <laughs> so I know you will, because you're only human. We all know when you were touching Sam's hair, it was really mine. Does she want him? No. Well, she didn't. She might know. Was there something possible? <laughs> maybe there was, maybe there was. I'm not sure now. Fuck this tits. Oh what, because we gotta go you've gotta to go to bed. That's yeah. fine. Oh, sorry. oh, they're fucking assholes. Really? 
I don't like prolonging. Don't be upset. Nah, me. Oh, titties. What the fuck? Really? They're fucking... Mm. Come on. You're all right. You'll be okay. No, I'll be okay. You can go for her tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> And stay with us for someone who made her name on Big Brother, but Nikki Graham's big personality comes with some dark demons and tough battles. Brand new next tonight, Nikki talks through things in therapy.